Senator Jingo Estrada, an alleged pork barrel scam mastermind, Janet Limnapolas, attended their bail hearing before the Sandigan Bayan on Tuesday. Dressed in a blue polo, Senator Estrada seemed in a light mood. As he listened to the documents of evidence pinning him on the scam, Jingoy was even seen talking while smiling with his father, former president and now Manila Mayor Joseph Estrada, who sat beside him during the hearing. Also present are Jingoy's mother, former Senator Luisa Estrada, and Jingoy's brother, Jude. On the contrary, Alleged pork barrel scam master by Napoles seemed in a darker mood. Dressed in her jacket and a hoodie, Napoles bowed down as she heard the prosecutor's evidence pinning her on the scam. What originally was a bail hearing turned to a preliminary conference as the court decided that the prosecution should instead mark the documents. Though the prosecution failed in the witness, a failed investigating officer from the Ombudsman, it took a long time for them to mark the documents of evidence. Napolis' lawyer, Stephen David, said the prosecution seemed to be delaying the bail hearing of Napolis and Estrada. Diba, imagine mo, nagpakita sila ng isang dokumento, limang minuto ang binilang ko eh. Limang minuto bago matapos yung isang. Eh kung ganyan karami yan, ilang buwan nyo matatapos yung petition for bail. So at tagal-tagal na. So nadidipit yung purpose ng, uh, ng uh, proceeding. Summary proceeding kasi yan. So, so ginawa namin, mamarkahan na lahat, titingnan namin kung kailangan o hindi sa petition para sa susunod na hearing yung ganyan karami dokumento at saka yung iba kanyang dokumento, eh... Ano na, tapos na, napag-usapan na. Kung ganyan naman na summary lang dapat, tapos ganyan na ipipresenta mo, eh makikita mo naman yung ano doon, yung uh, objective nila, mapatagal yung, yung bail, yung hearing. Uh, ang kaso, tumanggap ba o hindi? Si Jingoy kay Janet, yun lang naman eh. So sino ang magsasabi niya? Si Ruby, si Ben Hur. So gusto namin, sila na iharap nila para... <coughs> Wala ka nila tao, totoo ba? O nagsisinungaling pa sila, o hindi kasi yung pinakahanda dyan eh. Pinaghanda na namin yan. Makikita naman natin kung sino nagsisinungaling in due time. Eh, nag-adjourn dahil kasi maraming dokumento na pinipasit ko yung mga prosecutors, ilustron namin. Baka naman hindi naman kinakailangan ni Pusit na nag-adjourn. Dahil bail hearing lang ito, dapat yung pinakamadaling procedure ang dapat sundin. Hindi yung magpipresenta kayo ng siyang nalibong dokumento rin yun. Nasabi. From Sandigan Bayan, this is Mark Jason Cayabiag reporting for Inquirer.net.